Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure for me to introduce Jan Kiran, CEO of Tag Vance. So, Jan, welcome. And can you tell us something about your company? Thank you for having me. So, uh, Tag Vance is an IoT innovation startup, and we are based in Singapore. And we help various industries track the location and status of their manpower. So, we are developing ready to deploy solutions. Uh, to monitor the workforce in near real time, both indoors and outdoors, and even in confined spaces. Uh, so TechVents helps heavy industries to improve operational efficiency and work safety while reducing their costs. Very interesting. So basically, thanks to your technology, uh, customers can accurately determine real time in real time their locations, right? And also not only for people, but also assets within construction sites, right? And other industrial spaces. So can you please tell us more on the benefit that uh, your solutions enable? Yeah, you're right. Construction sites are home to widespread accidents and occupational disease worldwide. And in the built environment, uh, there is a constant challenge for monitoring people due to these risks that happen every day. And moreover, as we all know, the COVID-19 pandemic locked down many contractors and the regulatory bodies are now issuing new guidelines uh, imposing real-time headcounts for worker locations. So currently uh, in the industry, the monitoring of the workforce is mostly done manually. And the main benefit of our application is to transform this uh, manual practice to a digital attendance board uh, that is site-wide. So in summary, we generate automated reports that comply with these requirements to increase safety and efficiency. That's very interesting. And also, um, uh, in addition to monitoring uh, this location, I understand your system collects environmental data to provide operators a better idea, of course, of what actually happening within the specific location. So can you tell us a little bit more of, about how do you collect the data? What is the data you collect? And how do you overall enable your customers to visualize such valuable information? Uh, we're using motion sensors such as accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, and all in fusion with uh, the relative altitude from the barometer uh, for activity classifications such as worker slips, trips, and falls. And also vision sensors are deployed to validate the safety compliance. We're even using audio sensors to detect equipment sound like the safety hooks. Uh, we match the location of the workers with the sensor data using Bluetooth BLE positioning and our IoT nodes and wearable tags uh, run on microcontrollers using sensor fusion with tiny machine learning. So this enables us not only to do uh, head counts and locations on the map, but also try to understand what's going on there. So the inference data is then backhauled kilometers away using the LoRa radios. Then the worker logs are matched in the cloud against the work permits, exclusion zones, and timesheets coming from the ERP pipelines. So the visual dashboard and the reporting features location of the workers, near misses, incidents, and metrics to accurately uh, represent the work safety status and site assets. Nice, and um, I, I believe it's quite challenging to, to monitor and localize assets indoor, especially indoor, because of maybe the interferences and obstacles preventing the direct line of sight with people and assets. So how do you manage to overcome this challenge? It's an excellent question. So to come up with a reliable solution, uh, we are basically knitting many cutting edge technologies uh, together in harmony with our partners. So IoT nodes are placed at various locations around the tracking area. We benefit from the long range, deep penetration and high robustness of the LoRa radio. Tags worn by people or placed on the assets uh, can run for several years due to low power components used inside and energy harvesting. And as a result of tiny ML, we merely 
need to send the results in small bytes to the back office, avoiding continuous transmission bandwidth requirements. Okay, so can I ask you what Arduino products did you choose and to, to enable this solution? Uh, we are using Portenta 8.7 and Portenta Vision Shield. Uh, Portenta 8.7 based IoT node uh, firstly acts as a BLE scanner collecting the Bluetooth sensor data in the environment and relaying the results using the LoRa shield to the cloud, which is fully integrated with our AWS and SAP services. Secondly, we are using the onboard camera on the vision shield to run our computer vision models to observe any missing, for example, safety nets and improper guardrails at the construction site. Uh, our, we also use Arduino Nikla Sense ME, uh, which is in the form of a wearable device embedded inside worker helmets. Uh, it beacons the Bluetooth signal strength to calculate the worker locations. Uh, the worker activity is also classified via its IMU and the pressure sensor. Hence, we can understand if the worker is in danger of falling from height, for example. Uh, moreover, we're now very excited to test and onboard the new Arduino Nikta Vision in our portfolio as well. Uh, in summary, actually, Arduino Pro product line uh, helps us to easily convey the robustness of our solutions to our clients. Uh, we also feel secure uh, and confident to rely on the high quality sensors used in such a critical work safety assessment use case. Okay, that, that's interesting. Just so everybody knows uh, to, to provide the anthropomorphic comparison, this is a Portenta H7 and it can be attached with the 280 pins connector to the Portenta Vision Shield. And this is the Nikla. So you're putting this one inside the, the employee's helmets as a wearable device. And um, being said that this is hardware, with regards to software, what, what, what are the tools that you use to program these boards? Uh, we're using uh, the following stack for programming. One, uh, OpenMV IDE uh, with MicroPython, of course, for computer vision when using the Portenda Vision Shield. Uh, we're using the Arduino IDE uh, to upload the sketches on the Nikla Sense and Edge Impulse for the tiny ML pipeline. Okay, and how about the future? What additional improvements are you planning to implement? Uh, we're constantly experimenting actually with uh, TinyML on different senses uh, for training various work safety models in the built environment. And we're trying to improve our uh, living lab, uh, the construction environment for real life uh, data set collection. And we look forward to assessing the quality and uh, quantity of new sensors and tool chains. So this will eventually help us maintain an industry-wide global acceptance of our applications running on such small microcontrollers. It was very inspiring, John. So thank you for being with us and see you soon. Thank you for having me.